All right. Hi, everyone. Happy Music Money Monday and Happy New Year. It's 2021. We finally made it there. Hallelujah. Um, In today's episode, I will be talking about royalty portals slash royalty statements and business managers. This video is part two of the recording and publishing deal guidelines from Kanye West that I was supposed to put out last year and did not get around to it. So my New Year's resolution this year is to simply stop promising you guys that I'm going to put out a video by a certain date because, well, we all see how well that goes for me. But yes, this is part two of Kanye's recording and publishing deal guidelines. I am going to give you my take on them and ways for you to utilize this information to benefit you. So I will link part one up here and also down below in the description box. But happy Music Money Monday. Let's get into it. Okay, so royalty portals and royalty statements. Kanye says royalties. Again, back to dependents. You need a business manager to read how you did, so you pay to see your money? No more. Royalty portals need to show, and do not now, every song you delivered, every store you are in, how many streams per song, income per song. It sounds basic and logical, but it does not exist. This is true. You do not need a business manager to read to you how you did, but I think that there is a lot more to it than just that. So first, when he says royalty portals, this just means whatever website you log into to see how much royalties you generated or your sales. So basically your royalty statements, except on the big screen, on the web. And yes, ideally, it would be amazing if royalty portals and royalty statements were more detailed and transparent, but I will say that even the music companies that provide you your statements, like your PRO, a record label, a digital distributor, these companies do not get as much information as people like to believe. And I can say that from working specifically in the performing rights department at BMI. That information gets passed through so many different hands and different companies, which makes it extremely difficult to get that information to you on your royalty portal and a very detailed, transparent manner. If you just take your PRO, for instance, that royalty statement alone consists of royalties from YouTube, Spotify, Apple, Pandora, TV shows, movie placements, radio plays, live performances, commercials. The the list goes on and on. So all of those companies that I just named and listed, those are the ones with the data, and then they pass on whatever information and data that they want to or that they agree to pass on to your PRO or your digital distributor or your label. So the info that you see in your royalty portal or on your royalty statements is only going to be as good as the info that these other companies decide to give to them. And No, I am not saying that all the labels and PROs and distributors only get the same exact information that they give to you. They definitely don't pass on every bit of info that they get, but I am just saying that they get less data than you think that they are getting. But there are two things that will help you somewhat attain better royalty portals or make your royalty statements work for you. One, most contracts or agreements that you sign with a label or a publisher, they have a clause or a provision that sets a schedule of when you are to be paid. And that also gives you the right to see all the statements that they get and the accounting on their side. So you have the right to audit them. Most people do not know about that or they miss this information because the contract is so long or they don't understand the contract because it's not in plain English. That's a call back to part one. If you missed it and you want to hear about that, go check that out. But yes, a lot of these types of agreements, they have that clause in there. So take a look into that. And pro tip, make sure that you have this type of clause in any agreements that you enter into with a publisher, pub admin, or a label. Second, you need to make sure that for every single payout period, whether it's for your PRO, your digital distributor, your label, your publisher, for every payout period, you need to go through your statements by yourself, line by line. A lot of people don't do this also. They just get the check or nowadays people get direct deposit and that's an even easier way to not look at your royalty statements, but people just care about getting the money and then they never look at their royalty statements for that pay period. But your royalty statements actually do have a lot of useful information and you can see if there are any errors. Although most royalty portals won't give you all of the data in the world, a lot of them do break down for you the number of plays, streams, from which platform, for which specific quarter, and you yourself can see how many plays that you are getting by going onto your own Spotify and looking at your Spotify or how many views you get on YouTube by looking at your YouTube and you yourself knows what shows or movies your song is placed in. Or at least I hope you know that. Some people don't know that, but I hope you know that. 
So you should be able to take all that information and compare it to your royalty statements for any errors or for its accuracy. You should be doing this every payout period because you could be missing out on money because you, um, if you catch the errors in your statements. And if there are errors or you think that you should have been paid more based off of your comparison and reviewing your royalty statements, then you go and talk to your business manager about it. Or if you don't have a business manager, then you call or email the company yourself and show them the errors. There is normally a person at the company or at these companies that will be able to see if there truly has been an error and if you are owed more royalties. And I know that because that person was me at one point in time, some years ago. But yes. Oh, there is a company that can help you with tracking your streams, TV plays, radio plays on your end. Some of the writers and producers I worked with at BMI used it. And I would say that it is it's pretty accurate. There were false positives and mistakes sometimes. So do not expect that their reports are going to be 100% correct every single time. But for the most part, I would say that they were pretty accurate and were able to track everything fairly well for creators who wanted to monitor their streams and radio play and TV play on their own end by themselves. So if you are looking for something like that, well, then you're in luck because I reached out to them and I got you guys a 20% discount. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, happy whatever you celebrate. If you're a Grinch, then I mean, I guess you're just gonna get 20% discount code. But yes, the 20% discount code will be down below in the description box for you guys. Oh, and the company's name is Toonsat. I said all that and failed to mention the company's name, but there you go, Toonsat. All right, well, that's about it. I did not go through every guideline that Kanye West put out, and it's because whenever I look at any videos that I record, I realize that I talk and talk and talk a lot, and that the videos end up being a lot longer than I intended them to be. So I'm trying to work on that. Also, Music Money Mondays, I want to say, are now just going to be put out on whatever day I can get them out. As you can see, it's a Tuesday. I started Music Money Mondays before I started law school and I had no idea how much time and energy law school would take out of me, I didn't know that I would not have any time or energy and that I'd be too exhausted to do all of the things that I was doing before law school. So Music Money Monday is just the name, guys. It's no longer the schedule. But there are many exciting things that I have happening this year and some of them are going to be benefiting you guys, so I cannot wait to unveil that to you all. I hope everyone has an amazing, productive, prosperous year, actually please give us an amazing, productive, prosperous year because we all know that the universe really played with us last year. So I don't even think it's up to us at this point. I learned last year that there are so many things out of our hands and let's hope that the universe gives us an amazing, productive, prosperous year. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Happy Make Me Money Monday on a Tuesday. Until next time. <laughs>